On Halloween in 2016, this tweet began to circulate, instantly fascinating anyone who came across it. Patient burned by mid-surgery explosion when laser ignites fart. This story is about a hospital fire that occurred at Tokyo Medical University Hospital in Shinjuku Ward on April 15th of 2016. A young woman in her 30s, who was never named, for reasons that will be obvious, was receiving an unspecified surgery on her cervix, the lower part of the uterus. Being that it's the norm for something like this, it can be assumed that her legs were held up on stirrups. Now this alone is embarrassing enough for most people, but really pales in comparison to what's about to come. This surgery required what is called a laser scalpel. Most people would never want an actual laser anywhere near their junk. It's understandable to have a bit of healthy anxiety or even fear in that situation. Although it was necessary for the surgery in this case, her feelings of unease were unfortunately very valid. Possibly due to her anxiety, the woman passed a significant amount of gas. At this point, the laser was already inside of her. This caused a fiery explosion in the operating room on her lower regions, which is incredible and horrific enough on its own, but in actuality the explosion itself wasn't as much of a problem as the resulting flames were. Flames caught the surgical drapes hiding her nether regions on fire, spreading onto her skin and quickly burning much of her body. Everywhere from her waist down to her legs, including the area you'd hate to have this happen to the most. The fire was eventually extinguished, mainly by doctors and nurses panicking and pouring saline solutions all over the place. Unfortunately, due to the anonymity of the woman, it isn't clear how badly she was injured exactly or how well she recovered. On the Japanese articles, it's only said that she suffered severe burns, mainly around the hips and extensively around the legs. A committee of outsider experts was put together to really take a deep dive into the case and figure out exactly what happened, because at this point, the doctors had no idea why the woman exploded. At this point, nobody was really sure what to make of this case. Naturally, nobody would have assumed it to have been a fart. After several months, all the way in October later that year, the committee finally released a report on what had happened. The report confirmed that no flammable materials had been being used in the operating room during the time of surgery. The equipment was found to have been functioning normally, without fault as well. The manufacturer of the laser stated that they hadn't received any reports of any similar incidents happening either within or outside the country. By the end of the report, the culprit was clearly expressed. According to the report, when the patient's intestinal gas leaked into the space of the operation room, it ignited with the irradiation of the laser and the burning spread, eventually reaching the surgical drape and causing the fire. The gynecology department at the hospital stopped performing that particular surgery for an amount of time as well, fearing similar incidents. Veteran doctors in the field responded with, I didn't even know this was possible. I've never heard of it happening. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how is this even possible? And if it is possible, then why doesn't it happen more often? Those are very good, very valid questions. According to Inverse.com, 99% of the contents that are released in a common fart are an odorless gas compiled of carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and methane. A very, very small percentage is composed of some of the bacteria from your intestines, which is what gives it the odor. What we need to look at here is the hydrogen and the methane, both of which are flammable. According to Robert Provine, who is an author with expertise on the topic, only about a third of people produce an amount of methane that would be flammable. A fart richer in hydrogen would burn yellow or orange, while one higher in methane would burn blue, giving young men the much sought after blue angel. It's safe to assume that our unfortunate hero produced a pretty good amount of gas that was rich in hydrogen and methane to get this result. 
To end up with this unfortunate concoction in her guts, this woman may have eaten a lot of food containing high levels of methane, foods such as cabbage, kale, or broccoli. So I assume the moral of this story is, don't eat a head of cabbage and rip ass on a laser. I mean, that advice may come in handy to somebody someday. An article on jcast.com actually provides a little bit of advice. According to the news desk of Kasai Shinsuke, preventative measures need to be put into place. These preventative measures would be to go ahead and fart before your surgery? So I guess this is why we're told what to eat and what not to eat before surgery. Once again, thank you all for watching this video. Sorry, it's been a little while since the last one. I've been going through a rough couple weeks. Uh, if you found this video interesting, please give it a like for the algorithm. If you're into little-known crimes and dark oddities, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. That's what I do. I have a Patreon now as well, so if you'd like to support the channel, it really does help me a lot. A special thanks to my current patrons as well. Kami Kruger, Brittany Marchbanks, Heather Ivanyuk, Angeline, Toy King 10, Tracer Ferguson, and Fraulein. You guys are pretty great. And I'll see you next time.